Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the fundamental theorem of algebra. So what is fundamental theorem of algebra? If f of x is a polynomial function of degree n where n is greater than 0, then f has at least one complex 0. Note that complex 0 is a 0 of a function that is either real or imaginary. So in this theorem, we're going to use this to determine how many zeros we have in the given function. So to better understand, let's have these exercises. Determine the zeros of the following functions. Number 1, f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 6. Number 2, g of x is equal to x cubed minus 12x squared plus 36. And number 3, h of x is equal to 16x raised to 4 minus 1. Using our theorem, let us find first the roots, the, how many roots are we going to expect in each problem. So in number 1, this is in the degree of 2. So we're going to expect two zeros. In number two, it is a cubic function. So we are going to expect three roots or zeros. And in number three, h of x, we have in a quartic function, degree four. So we are going to expect four zeros. Okay. Now let us try to find the zeros of the functions. Let's start with number 1. h of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 6. Study the given. We're going to find the value for x. So, we need to factor out. So 0 is equal to x and x. So we have factors of negative 6. The sum must be positive 5. So that can be positive 6 and negative 1. So positive 6 times negative 1, this is negative 6. 6 minus 1, that is positive 5. Now, equate to 0. This will be x minus 1. So, x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to negative 6. The other one, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to positive 1. Therefore, the zeros are... negative 6 and positive 1. So, what we're, how many zeros we are going to expect? We have 2. So, 1, 2. Next, number 2. We are expecting 3 zeros. So, copy g of x is equal to x cubed minus 12x squared plus, oh, it should be the x here, 36x, okay. so x cubed minus 12x squared plus 36x, study the given, so notice that in each, in each term we have x, so we need to factor out, so we have, so zeros, x, the common factor is x, so divide x squared minus 12, x squared divided by x, 12x plus 36x divided by x, we have 36. Now, we have a quadratic inside the parentheses. 
So we can we can still factor this out. The factors are factors of positive 36. The sum must be negative 12. So we have negative 6 and negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 6, that is positive 36. Negative 6 plus negative 6, negative 12. Now equate to 0. x is equal to 0. x minus 6 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 6. And the other one, x minus 6 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 6. So notice that we have three zeros. One, two, three. But take note, six. We have six, so we can write uh, we can write our zeros as the zeros are zero and six of multiplicity two okay. because six occur twice as our zeros multiplicity of two six multiplicity of two next number three I will write the number 3 here. Therefore, the zeros are 0 and 6 multiplicity of 2. Of two. Multiplicity of 2 because 6 occur twice. Now, last number, number 3, A, H of X is equal to 16x raised to 4 minus 1. Quartic function, so we are expecting four zeros. Equate to 0 is equal to 16x raised to 4 minus 1. So for x, so we have move to the left, so that will become positive 1 is equal to okay. Since we can still factor this out. So 0 is equal to, let us factor. The factors are 4x squared plus 1 and 4x squared minus 1. Difference of 2 squares. Now equate to 0, we have 4x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. And the other one. We can still factor this out. So factoring out, 0 is equal to 4x squared plus 1. Again, let us factor this, difference of 2 squared. That is 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. And now we can equate to 0. So, 4x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So, we have 4x squared is equal to negative 1. Divide by 4. So, we have x squared is equal to um, negative 1 over 4. Extract the square root. So, we have x is equal to extracting the square root. Positive, negative, I over 2. I over 2. Why I over 2? Because negative square root of 1 is I over square root of 4 is 2. The other one is 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So 2x is equal to negative 1 divided by 2. x is equal to negative 1 half. And last, 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 2x is equal to positive 1. Divide by 2, x is equal to 1 half.
So if we're going to write our zeros, we have four. We have the positive, the positive i over two. We have the negative i over two, negative one half, and positive one half. We have one, two, three, and four. So that's on how to apply the fundamental theorem of algebra. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.